Hiya there and welcome to Loki the Bullies channel. Right, what we're going to do today is we're just going to have a little discussion really about Loki's behaviour, what to expect, are they dominant, you know, when you take them to the park, what to expect really. Um, I'm going to give two views here in this video. So anyone who's thinking about buying one, what to expect, because obviously they've got a lot of bad press. Um, hopefully just in this video with Daisy playing with them. It might actually tell you exactly a little bit what they're like. Right then. Boys, I go about this quite often. They're a lot more aggressive, dominant and stuff like that. Um, an English Bull Terrier, if you take them to the park, you'll get jumpy dogs maybe, you know, like your Pit Bull Terriers, Yorkshire Terriers, things like that, which are, <laughs> sorry about this, a little bit more um, feisty and they go around the park thinking they're dominant. Well, what an English Bull Terrier tends to be is they're classed as dumb dogs, but they're not. The way to describe this is they survey what's going on. Um, you could say it's a little bit wolf-like if you want. Um, they don't, well, Loki doesn't anyway. Shh, if there's an aggressive dog in the park, she weighs the situation up. And what she does is she pretends to be a bit submissive first to gauge what's going on and then when she realizes that other dog is friendly she goes plays biz rough what she's doing now with daisy to be honest um she doesn't pile in all aggressive but without a shadow of a doubt if loki goes <laughs> into the park she is the alpha without a shadow of a doubt um but in a different way to what maybe a pit bull would be or an Alsatian or a dog like that. They do it in a laid back manner. The way to describe it, I guess, is, you know, like if you're in a pub and there's loads of like shouty little kids, you know, they're all with their baseball caps, you know, selling the weed in the back. Um, think they're really hard, but really you've got an old guy sitting at the counter and he owns the firm. Um, <laughs> right, can we watch my drink, please? Right, hot laps. Um, they're more like that. So, they're going to play and be naughty for a minute. Look! Like he missed the wall and fell over. Girls! Right, girls! Right. So, this is probably a good example, actually. So, what they do is they're really laid back, but they get incredibly playful. Look at as you can see. see this, is, this is not aggression at all. Right, this is just how an English Bull Terrier plays. Loki, Loki's eight, nine now. Still mad as a hatter when she gets going. Basically, they're, um, I think, right, girls. Sorry about this. Right, I think why people think they're so aggressive is they have just so much energy. As you can see, Loki's 8, 9, okay. And what is it? 25 degrees outside. Hot as hell. Um, they're just full of energy. And I think that's what people get confused with aggression. Is, yeah, you want to go in there, don't you? Too hot. No, come and chill with us and do this video. Is they get confused with aggression, basically. Um, don't get me wrong. No, come over here, Bab. Loki. Could we just chill with me? Um, I'm trying to have a serious conversation here, really, and it completely explain why they're so misunderstood. They're incredibly laid back. If you go into the history of English Bull Terriers, they're actually made for fighting, but they were useless at it because they don't seem to instigate the fight. They'll finish it. I have no shadow about that. My last one, dude, she got attacked a few times over the park because she was laid back. She never put the first bite in. But she chased an old station all the way out of the park. You know, um, that was one of her friends that she just got a bit too playful and rough and bitter. And English Bull Terriers will go red. I will say that. That is one of the worst things. My one... I don't think Loki's ever actually turned red where I've gone, holy crap. No, she did actually. When she was a puppy, she had a play fight with uh, my friend, not my friend, my brother's Keita, and they were both puppies. 
and that got a little bit out of hand and I had to throw both of them into the koi pond to cool down but that was nasty um, an English Bull Terrier won't give up they really won't so it's hell of a heart to get them to lose their temper but if they do you're in trouble so the way I could describe basically in layman's terms what to expect from an English Bull Terrier this little one here she's your little chav selling the weed on the, your corner in your little council area that's this little one here thinks she's hard gives a load of gob but really what we've got over here is the quiet old guy sitting in the bar who quietly picks up his phone and everyone's around him <laughs> that's what we got over here um completely different um daisy here i had to complain you think i'm more worried about taking her for a walk off the lead than loki she will charge up to a dog with all this big you know, attitude doesn't do anything it's just full of attitude um couldn't find a way out of a paper bag this one could you day absolutely couldn't find anything no one's scared of french bulldogs nothing like that but um bulldogs are incredibly dominant even you know if you see a big bulldog they'll be humping the kids legs all sorts bulldogs are dominant but they're not aggressive because their teeth are pathetic. If they had teeth like Alsatians, yeah, these would hurt you. Um, hello, come here. Come here, Bob. Let's go and show you. So if I could show you this. Here, we could let Daisy be, or me. Then if I could show you, she's got the most pathetic teeth ever. Hello, come here. All right, obviously, like, his teeth are old. You don't really want to mess with them teeth, do you? I got bit on the bum by uh, my old English Bull Terrier. <laughs> I was jumping up and down in the living room. Um, yeah, she got excited, bit me on the bum. Um, you just got to be careful with these. Absolutely, this one here is soft as anything. Can she hurt you? Oh, yeah. She's hurt me several times, and I mean properly hurt me. Um, they're dopey. Doesn't bite me, anything like that. What she tends to do is she spins and she sometimes headbutts me in the face and it really hurts. So she does that with me. I'm her owner and she knows that I'm the master and she'll play. She doesn't do that with the kids. She's really gentle, but she can play incredibly rough with me. Um, that is something I will explain as well about English Bull Terriers is they learn that they're not dumb like everyone keeps thinking. They know who the boss is. You don't have to smack them. I, I said this in my other video, what it's like living with one. The worst thing you could do is smack one. What you have to do with an English Bull Terrier is you have to show it love and who's the boss. We have a, I have a 25-year-old son. This dog does not respect him one little bit. She'll even sit in his chair on purpose. And she just looks at him like he's beneath her. He's beneath her and... She has no respect for him at all. And the reason being is he just goes around with headphones on all day and just acts like he's a space cadet. And the dog just has no respect for him at all. Doesn't bite him, but literally take the mickey out of him. Just go and eat his dinner off his plate. She wouldn't do it with me. Um, have a daughter, which you've probably seen in some of the videos when she was young. Good as gold with her, completely respects her. And the little one does, sits down for her. These two will not listen to the lad. Um, Loki, she, in our house, she basically knows that me and my wife, we're the bosses. But she does still think that she's the boss for the daughter. She is big mummy dog. But there again, she's going to be. Now, we got Loki when Naomi, who is now 18, I think she was about 10. She was still young, so she brought up looking after her. And that's what she still thinks her job is now. Um, some people commented on my earlier videos about Loki looking aggressive with her that weren't aggression it was just the way she is with her she absolutely adores her um don't know what else ask me some questions basically I'll try and put them in the responses but um they're so not what people think you know even when you go on these so-called dog things and they tell you all about them and you know get them if they're aggressive don't you know don't get them if you've got kids or get them with the kids don't have them with cats etc they're supposed to have an incredible prey instinct so-called websites say she lives with a cat 
she brought the cat up like it was her own and there's probably videos you've seen where she's looking after the kittens of the cat when she had them she's soft as hell she is a seriously mummy dog couldn't trust this one with a cat this one here loves cats and as i said i had an english bull terrier before and she used to go around with a pet um hamster and just play all day with it no harm they really can gauge how far to push it so like i say with me she's really strong she hurts me bruises me scratches me headbutts me with a lad you know i've got a 10 year old as well soft as anything she protects him like he's a little baby um i can't show you right now but if i was to get let's say angry with any of the kids or pretend to smack the wife or do anything like that loki will jump in front and stop me straight away so incredible protectors do not get f confused with being protective loyal with being nasty um but remember loki's a girl and i've said this in my other videos if you're after a family dog get a girl don't get a boy they're a lot more dominant but the scariest thing about owning one of these is my last one which i don't have videos of was called dude um she saw red mist twice and it was scary incredibly scary um loki's done it she was six months old when she saw red and i threw her in the pond and she called down if a dog comes across and does attack her um she ain't gonna back down it's simple as that it's it's gonna be me but luckily enough she's friendly and it never gets to that stage you know but it is quite scary especially i think i've said this before in videos i don't let play with yorkshire terriers jack russell's i'm a bit funny with as well just little dogs um, Pomeranians, she can't play with those. They're nasty. Um, they'll bite her. And she's just going to kill it. It's as simple as that. And it's no fault of her. What are you going to do if you're getting attacked? You're going to fight back. Problem with these is... UK Bab, they are strong. And they just don't feel pain. They really don't feel pain. Right now, like a... Um, I don't know if I can show you this. This is something, right? I've showed you a video when she was a puppy and she got stung by a bee and a face swole up. This was the same problem I had with my own other English Bull Terrier as well. Right now, I think they called it hemoglobin or something like that. Got a nice lump on her ear here. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, quite a thick lump. Ain't you like? Yes, don't do too good with insect bites, do you, bab? No. So... Poor Loki, in the summer, she can get some nice, good lumps and bumps on her face and her ears. She's always been like that. She's very allergic to sting this place. <laughs> Doesn't hurt her, though. She carries hard. She just looks stupid. Anyway, just ask me some questions. I've been waffling on a bit, but it does sort of annoy me. But people just go on and on and on. And I'll also say... I, Walking these two down the road, Loki still gets more fuss from Daisy. Um, and it though, poor little old bug. Lo, she wants to go inside. So she's looking stroppy. Hot out here, ain't it, Bab? I'm gonna go in. She'll go in the sofa, come out, go in the sofa, come out. You do that all day long, don't you, Bab? Too hot, innit? She'll go inside, get a drink. Hopefully, I just helped answer a few questions. And you've seen the dogs, I said. Very explosive, don't get it confused with aggression. And when they're a puppy, don't put me in a crate. I did that with my first one, big mistake. Show them love, show them who's boss. Don't smack them, don't put them in a crate. See, I just don't get it. If, if you want a dog as a puppy and you put it in a crate, seriously, get a rat or a gerbil instead. Don't get a dog and put it in a crate. I had that stupid idea. It lasted literally about four hours and she came out. Loki is treated like one of the family, and that's it. If people disagree with dogs on sofas and stuff like that, Loki does whatever she wants to do. And as a result, we've got a really well-behaved dog. Oh, dear. And I think this one here has possibly died. You not died every day. No, you still with us. Should we go in? I got work to do. Thanks for looking. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.